What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video I want to show you two tools that you can use to test to make sure that if you have uh, an image with text for your Facebook ads, that it will stay within that 20% text to image guideline. Now, you may or may not know, Facebook has a rule that says you can't have more than 20% text in your image. Um, and, and if it does have any text at all, it kind of shows that at a bit less. Um, and if you do have over 20%, they won't approve it. So it's, it's, it's not going to be not approved right away. It's going to say it's going to have a little orange notification saying this ad is not running because of it's got too much text. Now, you could just test it out by submitting your ad with that image and seeing kind of if it gets approved or not, but it will it may take more time and you don't want to accumulate if it somehow does get disapproved entirely, not just that little orange mark, you don't want to have those. You don't want to accumulate those not approved statuses on your account. That does not look good for you. Facebook does look at that. So let me show you two tools I use to test and make sure that your ad is within those guidelines. So I'll send the links to those down below, but the first one is social contest slash check image. This is a common one you may see on every single kind of YouTube video. And what this does is kind of it creates these five grids uh, and you can click on them and it'll tell you whether it's it's above or beyond that text requirement. Now the problem here is, is this gives you a good idea and this is something maybe you can use first, uh, but it's not entirely accurate. So as you can see over here, um, this image says that it's, it's you know, 28% of the image contains text. However, these parts here, they don't contain text. These parts outside don't contain text. So what I'm going to do is let me just put in an image that I took from Google uh, to show you a more concrete example. So here, let's, you know, let's highlight these areas. So this is how you would determine whether it's above or below 20%, right? You can see it over here. It says 24%, so it's just not good. Now, in addition to that, we have some text over there and over there and over there, and there's a little thing here. Now, how accurate is this? This says 36%, right? So what I'll do is let me show you another tool you should use to cross-check this, and this is actually, this will tell you a yes or no answer. So it's going to be facebook.com slash ad slash tool slash text overlay. Super cool. So I'll upload the picture here, and it will just tell me whether the image is okay, uh, and, and whether it will not run. So actually I've had mine say image text low and it did not run. So it has to be on green, all right? Uh, so here it says green, your ad will run normally. So this is kind of the Facebook tool that's going to tell you whether your ad's going to run or not. So I'd strongly recommend using this one actually more so than this grid checker because this one's not 100% accurate. What I also see people doing, um, you know, through through going through some YouTube videos is uh, they, they, kind of notice that there's a little excess over there and what they do is they fix it they adjust it and they put it all within the little boundary so say it looks something like that right so they're gonna maybe squeeze everything in there that doesn't really matter so if if you do that and it works it's it's not because you squeezed everything in it's because like this tool says you actually don't have the area see how like there's nothing over there right? The only text is here. So Facebook doesn't have these kind of grids that it puts on your image. Facebook actually looks at how much text you have. So they will see that, hey, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. And they'll take that into account. So I would strongly recommend actually maybe even using this first and then going here. But if you see something like this and you try to kind of push the image back, that's not going to work. Uh, the only thing that will work is making your text smaller or somehow making the image bigger in comparison to that, which is the same thing as just making your text smaller, right? The optimal Facebook image size is uh, 1200 by 678 because that gives you the highest quality. And at the same time, you don't have to crop the picture. Everything shows up, okay? So um, these are the tools I, I wanted to share with you. So if your uh, text is, is above that, it says no here, uh, make it smaller or in what I normally do is I just remove kind of unnecessary words and I try to kind of minimize that amount of text in my uh, image. So that's about it. Um, these are these are two tools I think are very useful, especially this one. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.